Orient the left hand and right hand and cross tubes on the work surface as shown. Frame assembly. Assemble the left hand leg to the cross tube by inserting the leg attachment tube into the end of the cross tube so that the holes line up. Secure the leg and cross tube using the provided 3816 by 3 quarter inch socket head cap screws and lock washers. Tighten with the provided Allen wrench. Repeat the process with the right hand leg by installing the right hand leg to the cross tube by inserting the leg attachment tube into the end of the cross tube so the holes line up. Secure the leg and cross tube by using the provided 3 8 16 by 3 quarter inch socket head cap screws and lock washers. Tighten with the provided Allen wrench. Assembly of the frame to the work surface. Locate the pre-drilled hole in the work surface as shown. Align the cross tube bracket center hole with the pre-drilled hole in the work surface and install one of the provided number 10 by 1 inch screws. As with all screws, use caution not to over tighten as this may strip the screw. Repeat the same process on the other end of the cross tube by locating the pre-drilled hole in the work surface as shown. Align the cross tube bracket center hole with the pre-drilled hole and install one of the provided number 10 by 1 inch screws. Continue the frame assembly by aligning the leg to be parallel with the edge of the work surface as shown. Install one of the provided number 10 by 1 inch screws in the outboard leg bracket as shown. Confirm the leg is aligned and install screws in the remaining outboard leg brackets as shown. Continue the frame assembly on the opposite side by aligning the leg to be parallel with the edge of the work surface as shown. Install one of the provided number 10 by 1 inch screws in the outboard leg bracket as shown. Confirm the leg is aligned with the edge of the work surface and install screws in the remaining outboard leg brackets as shown. Complete the assembly of the cross tube to the work surface by installing the number 10 by 1 inch screws in the remaining bracket holes of the cross tube. V-keel installation. Locate the pre-drilled holes in the middle of the work surface as shown. Align the center holes of the V-keel over the pre-drilled holes 
and install two of the number 10 by 3 quarter inch screws packed with the V keel. Ensure the keel looks straight and install the screws into the remaining holes in the V keel. Completion of the frame attachment. If no book boxes or book racks are to be mounted, install the number 10 by 1 inch screws into the holes of the inboard leg brackets in an alternating pattern as shown. There will be five screws per inboard leg bracket. If book boxes or book racks are to be installed, the location of those options may dictate the location of the screws in the inboard leg brackets. Start by aligning the book boxes or book racks left to right as desired. Ensure the front edge of the book box or book rack does not extend beyond the front edge of the work surface. In some cases, to achieve the desired spacing, the book box or book rack may have to sit on top of the leg bracket. If this is the case, the holes in the book box or book rack need to be aligned with the correct holes in the inboard leg bracket as shown. Continue by installing the number 10 by 1 inch screws into the book box or book rack mounting holes and inboard leg brackets as shown. Modesty Panel Assembly Begin the assembly of the modesty panel by aligning the holes in the modesty panel flange with the holes in the cross tube as shown. Install the five provided 3816 by one half inch socket button head cap screws packed with the modesty panel. Assemble the modesty panel leg brackets. Align the Z bracket holes and the modesty panel square holes as shown. 
Install the number 1024 by one half inch carriage bolts, flat washers, and hex nuts as shown. Tighten with a wrench. Repeat the Z-bracket installation on the other side as shown. Lower Leg Installation Orient the lower leg as required and insert into the respective upper leg. Adjust the lower leg to the desired height and secure the two set screws in each upper leg with the provided 3 16 Allen wrench as shown. Make sure the upper leg set screws are properly located into the adjustable lower leg and fully seated before inverting the table. Once the table is inverted, double check to make sure each lower leg has been properly adjusted and secured before putting the table into service. Final leveling can be made by adjusting the table leg glides. Thank you for watching the assembly procedure for Verco Tetra Series tables. We urge our customers to follow a well-managed program of regular inspection and maintenance. This will help sustain continued acceptable performance and allow repair or replacement of products that become unstable or hazardous through misuse, abuse, or simply long life. Thank you again for your interest in Verco Tetra Tables.